Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be making some good red beans and rice in our good old crock pot with some smoked turkey. Now here it is, we supposed to be going into the winter time and it's still about 70 and 80 degrees in Merlin. Ridiculous, right? I know. But we're going to go ahead and get this comforting dish going nonetheless. And all you have to do is just have a little bit of patience because we're going to be making it in our crock pot. So you know what that means. Low and slow, baby. Okay? By this afternoon, you're going to be ready to eat. We're going to fix you up a late. Now, we're going to use this smoked turkey tails. You can use whatever smoked turkey you want. So if you have some smoked turkey necks or some smoked turkey tails, whatever cut. But for us, this is a little bit more media. And you know, let's be honest, sometimes you just like a little bit more meat. Okay. We got one bag of red beans right here. And I'm going to put these in my strainer. And what you want to do is go through the beans and make sure that you don't have no crazy looking beans. There's no stones. There's no dirt. You know, rinse them all. Ideally, you would want to soak these overnight to cut down the cooking process. But because we're going to put them in our crock pot, we don't have to do all that. Because remember, slow and low, baby, today. So like this one right here, we're just going to toss that out. This one is looking a little crazy too. So just go through it and then find any other ones that look the same. And you can rinse these off on cold water. And as these beans cook, they're going to swell up. So this one bag is probably going to be double the size of the bag after they finish cooking. So this is the pack of turkey tails that I'm going to use today at my local grocery store. We got them for about $5. So they got these things wrapped up nice and tight. And this is actually new because it never used to come in this vacuum seal bag. But I actually like this a lot better. This keeps it fresh a lot longer. Comment down below if your smoked turkey comes in this vacuum seal bag now. I like this. They getting fancy. So I just gave that a quick little rinse too because... So once you take it out the package, it's like this brine on it. I'm just going to go ahead and rinse these off before I put them in the pot. So we're going to go ahead and add some more flavor to these turkey tails for our broth, for our beans. And here I already cut up some bell peppers and some onions. Let's go ahead and throw that up in there. I'm finally glad we can use some bay leaves and something. You know how you just try to use up your herbs. And this just smells like fall in a bottle. So I'm going to put up probably about two or three. And it's nothing better than some bay leaves and some beans. And we're going to take those out at the end. So here I have like the onion soup mix. Normally I use the Lipton brand, but they didn't have any more. So I'm just going to use this today. It's the same thing, you know, just the store-bought brand. But I'm going to start out because I want to add as much flavor to these beans as possible. And I got another packet right here. Sometimes when you add one, you know, it does make it flavorful. But adding both of them just brings the flavor out a lot more. And we want to add a lot of water in here to cook the smoked turkey. So I want to make sure I added both of those Lipton packs. And then for the fun part, the best part, the main part is the beans. We're going to have to get a t-shirt made with that. The best part, the fun part, the main part. What y'all think? <laughs> Rolling with the fan merch. Now with the liquid, it's four cups right here. We're going to go ahead and add that in there. And I'm going to do another one. I'm going to add another four cups. Because I want these beans to have enough juice. So that way when we put it on top of our rice. You know, you got something to dip your cornbread in, which we probably going to make this afternoon too, and some fried chicken. So we're going to start out with this amount of water first. Let's go ahead and stir that around. And then I also have this Creole seasoning here by Tony Saturan. Go ahead and add some of that in there too. Not too much because I don't want to make it too spicy so the kids won't be able to eat it. Some garlic powder. And then we're going to taste this throughout the cooking process so we know how it tastes or if we need to add something. But we're going to start out with this first and just give that another stir. And then most of your flavor is going to come from the smoked turkey. So we're going to cook this for about three hours to start. And then we'll know when it's ready when that smoked turkey starts to fall apart. So total, we're probably going to cook this until about six o'clock today. Right now is 12.47. So let's see what we come up with. So go ahead and put the top on that. 
Now, let me show you why I still love our crock pot by the Ninja. This was our wedding gift, but I love it because it has this stove top setting on here. So, when I first turn it on, I like to bring my pot up to a boil. And then, I will turn it on the slow cooker, low or high setting. So, we're going to let this come to a boil like if it's sitting on the stove, you know, like you would anything else that you're cooking. And then, put it on that low and slow. And you guys know we love to shop for you now. So, we'll make sure we put a link in the description box where you can get this crock pot to so after about 15 minutes the pot has finally come up to a boil i'm gonna go ahead and now put the crock pot on low and i can set the timer for three hours we're two hours in i just added a little bit more of this creole seasoning right here i had already added some before i came on camera just now but I forgot I needed to show you. But I just tested my bro. This part you can season to taste because everybody's seasoning is different. I added a little bit of salt and I added a little bit more garlic. So you can add however much of whatever you want. I'm just showing you, you know, what I'm putting in mine. And if you like to do the same, you can go ahead and do the same seasonings. I'm going to put the top back on it and we're going to let it ride for the next two hours. So it's been about three hours later. Now we're not... Pretty good, mama. So go ahead and comment down below and you leave your pot alone for a second and you have your husband or your partner just coming behind you and just trying to do a taste test and then started adding stuff. You know how it is. So he did add two more bay leaves because he likes it, that bay leaf flavor. And you can't keep them away. Put my touch. Mm -hmm. Stay off the damn pot. Now we're not done yet. We're just going to go ahead and just break this meat up a little bit. Go ahead and get some of that flavor out of it. And as you can see, it's making some of the oil on top. So you can just go ahead and drain some of that out so it won't be too greasy. I just, you know, I just kind of skim it off the top a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and cook it a little bit longer. The meat is separating, but it's still not, you know, where I want it to be. So don't rush it. We're going to cook it for about another hour. And then I'm going to go ahead and start working on making these beans nice and thick. And taste your broth again right now to see if you need to add anything. Any more salt, garlic, cayenne pepper, you know, your Tony seasoning. And if you need to add something, add it now. And we're going to go ahead and put this on another hour and a half. So let's go ahead and work on thickening these beans up. It's been about six hours you guys okay and as you can see everything is coming together the beans are nice and tender the meat has come apart so what i like to do with this stage normally i would just mash some of the beans down and that'll help make it thick but i'm just going to show you guys another way to do it as well because beans are starchy so they will make its own thickness so you don't have to add any flour or you know any thickening agents to these beans because they already thick enough just take some of your beans and just mash them up until it gets to like a nice pasty type feel because we want them to be like a creamy texture you know how you like your pie pies and you know just the regular red beans and rice but your beans got to be real tender at this point you still can't have them all like you know hard and it's kind of like you're making a bean paste and you're just going to put that back in the pot and then I turned the crock pot on high because I really want to have this liquid start to evaporate out and then these fattier pieces of meat, I'm just going to go ahead and take that out because the kids don't really like that. I just really want the actual smoked turkey meat in here. And just let this continue to cook with the top oil on high. And then when there's enough liquid evaporated out for you, it's going to be done. And if you still need to mash up some more beans, if it's not thick enough for you, then just do it until you want it. Seven hours later, we finally got these beans to the consistency that we want them. They done thickened up so good i told you guys we was gonna be in this kitchen all day tired and ready to go lay down but we're gonna go ahead and take these bay leaves out first they done did its job gave it some nice flavor daddy then already snuck in the pot had to get his taste test i cooked them with the top off for about an hour on a medium high heat and then i was still mashing the beans up as i went in the pan I showed you guys how to do it in the measuring cup, but you know, once you start getting a little tired, you just start mashing them down and you still get the same effect. Just gonna add a tad of butter. Yes, because whenever you're making beans or any stew, 
you know, you just want to add a little bit of butter, just a tag. You don't need a lot because that's going to make it a little bit more flavorful and creamier. So that's it. That's all we really adding. You don't need a lot, but a little bit goes a long way. Hopefully your seasoning came out so good in your beans. Remember, season it to your liking. No, we did not forget the rice. Yes, this is the red beans and rice video. I already made the rice off camera. If you guys need some help making the rice, go ahead and head over to our cooking rice video where you can see exactly how we did this. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it in this bowl right here. I'm going to do a little trick a room. We're going to go ahead and plate daddy a bowl up. And you want to eat this with a bowl because that's how it's going to taste the best. And then we're going to take our rice and put it right in the middle. Look how rich these beans look. You can see the smoked turkey. Everything looks nice and rich and filling. And then one more thing I'm just going to add on top just to make it look pretty. It's just a touch of parsley. Now here you go, our red beans and rice with smoked turkey. Now you can't eat this with a fork. Go ahead and grab you a spoon. I just wanted to show you that smoked turkey and don't burn your mouth. Make sure you blow it off before you taste it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because you never know what's coming up next. See y'all later.